Ball's Pyramid off the coast of Australia is what's left of an old volcano that emerged from the sea about 7 million years ago, and for years this place had a secret. About 20 kilometres from this spindle of rock, there's a bigger island called Lord Howe Island. Here, there used to be an insect famous for being big. It was a stick insect as big as a human hand and nicknamed a tree lobster. Then, one day in 1918, a supply ship ran aground at Lord Howe Island, and while it was being repaired, some rats managed to get from the ship to the island, where they instantly discovered that giant stick insects are a delicious rat food. Two years later, the rats were everywhere, and the tree lobsters were totally gone, declared extinct. In the 1960s, some climbers on Ball's Pyramid thought they might have seen some stick insect corpses on the rocks, but the species was nocturnal and no one wanted to scale the spire hunting for bugs in the dark. That was until 2001, when two scientists decided to take a closer look. From the water they had seen a few patches of vegetation that might support the insects, so they boated over. Swimming would have been much easier, but there were too many sharks. Hanging on the vertical rock surface, they found a single small spindly bush, and underneath that bush, they found something totally improbable hiding. There, spread out on the bushy surface, were enormous shiny black bugs, 24 in all. These were the only ones on Bull's Pyramid, the last ones. They live here and, as best we know, nowhere else. How they got there, we still don't know. Perhaps they hitchhiked on birds or travelled over on a boat. How they survived for so long on just a single patch of plants, nobody knows either. It was thought that the next step should be to get a few of these insects into a protected breeding program, but the Australian government wasn't so keen. After two years of meetings and studies, they finally agreed to allow just four animals to be retrieved. During those two years, there had been a rock slide on the mountain, and it was feared that the whole population had been wiped out. Fortunately, the insects again showed their survival skills and were found still nestled around their bush. One pair collected were named Adam and Eve and taken to the Melbourne Zoo. Adam and Eve, the reluctant travellers first to leave the safety of their mothership shrub in 80 years, could ultimately return their whole species to their former home. But Lord Howe Island is still rampant with rats, and whilst residents might be happy to go rat-free, they might not be so sold on the idea of doing it to allow an army of hard-shell, giant, crawling insects to move in. It's an incredible illustration of man's impact, both in the presumed extinction of and the possible preservation of this unique insect. Its main attraction is that it has lived on the planet for a long time, and we have the power to keep it around. I don't know if it will work, but in the end, that's the stick insect's best argument.